Method Man Will Steal Rower's Girlfriend. Hi, hi. When Method Man uses his dead friend's ashes to fertilize his cannabis plants. You're on the wrong side of 40, you're childless and alone. Somebody close to you said, one more flop and it's over. Somebody said they were close to me? Oof. He has a group hallucination when he goes to smoke it which summons his dead friend, who helps them cheat on their exams. Oh, uh, there was a, there was a ghost! Uh, there's, there's ectoplasm! Did you see the ghost? It ran through here, it, it slimed me! You son of a bitch! Oh, no, that wasn't me, that was a spooky ghost! Bringing Fred Willard to suggest they go to Harvard, where they form a rivalry with the captain of the rowing team, which the coach encourages because he hates him too. Have you found the suspect? Here he is. What? I didn't do anything. Uh, I'm innocent. We'll let public opinion decide that, sir. Then one of the other students steals their cannabis plant and smokes it all himself. That wasn't her fault. Who puts Oxycontin in a Xanax bottle? People with servants. Idiot. But if they're stealing pills, how does it help to switch the labels? Because they can't read English. <laughs> okay. I'm going to leave you to think about that whole line of reason. You Seeing the dead friend, who tells him to return the plant. If you untie me, I will literally suck your dick right now. I told you, for the last time, I love the pussy. I'll cradle the balls, stroke the shaft, work the pipe, and swallow the gravy. Prompting Method Man to make a truth serum, which he poisons Harvard with. And get the antidote. There's an antidote? Villains always have antidotes. They're funny that way. Worth watching for wacky antics. Hey, I'm hungrier than five. Well, who are you and what you doing in my house, Jack? I wait for pork chops or chunky. Whether you're black or a hunky or in between, you love pork chops or chunky. Man, that's me. The day will come. <laughs> what you mean if you build it, they're going to come? Who are these people that are going to come to a fucking cornfield? You know, who going to cut the grass? I know you don't expect me to sell no peanuts out this bitch. This shit remind me of slavery day, roots and shit. What about you two? Why did you walk out and protest with your brothers? Walk out on me. What are you doing sitting there? You look like Whitey. You look like a couple of goddamn Uncle Toms. Walk on out. That's right. Get up and move. You should lynch me. Lynch me. Lynch me for what my people have done to your people. Annie! Crazy, yo! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The only way I'm coming is if you got some females and some chronic, and then we all gonna be coming. That voice just now, what was it? We didn't hear anything! You got some nice titties, dog. Word. <laughs>